Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Um, it's almost 2014 and I've been thinking about, you know, what I've learned over the last year and kind of what I'm hoping for for the new year and the things I want to concentrate on in the new year. And I wrote it all down and I want to share it with you. Excuse me, it is 6 o'clock in the morning and on the 20th of December and I am going shopping very very soon as soon as the store is open because we're getting a storm front coming in so I don't want to be on the roads when that really hits uh, so here's what I wanted to share with you what I want for the new year 2014 um, you know it's always at this time of year I like to reflect on the past year and think about what I want to accomplish for the year to come this past year I've made many new friends and some new family through the the social media of YouTube. I think like anything else, social media is a great medium for people to connect and to share and to learn from one another. But like anything else, you know, we have learned over the past year that this new fun and this is new and fun and easy, but we make mistakes. We may post photos on Facebook or share with friends and find out that your new one billion best friends have just seen what you thought was private. We may have conversations through text and social media that got misconstrued and started family wars and hurt feelings and even broken up friendships. New technology can be fun and creative and connect people in a way that travels at the speed of sound. But we still have to be careful. Anything that powerful can have powerful consequences. Recently, I saw a commercial showing a pencil, saying it, it is an extremely simple tool, but also extremely powerful, saying how it could start a poem or finish a symphony, how it was, how it has transformed how we work, create, share, connect. After extolling the virtues of what we think is a pencil, the camera takes an overshot over the pencil to show an ultra slim computer pad. I was upset because for once I thought someone was using their head for more than a hat rack, you know, that, but, but I was wrong. It was all about, of course, selling the latest technology. They're now using laptops, notebooks, and media pads in schools. Soon now students will no longer need to carry real notebooks, pads, and textbooks or even pens and pencils. Penmanship will no longer be taught in schools, if indeed it still is. Grammar, or at least spelling, uh, will be a thing of the past because autocorrect does that for you. Who needs to know how long division when they've got an, a calculator app on their, on their computer? When a, when, why read a book or even buy one when there is electronic book readers? But please, folks, learn from the past. Don't throw out the baby with the bath water. When I started my YouTube channel, it was to show a friend how to do basic knitting. I soon found out that there were tens of thousands of people out there that have lost the knowledge of traditional home tasks. Why? Because modern convenience has rendered the information obsolete. Or so we thought. Now don't get me wrong, I love technology. I, I'm sitting here typing this on a computer and I'm gonna shortly record it on, on this digital camera and upload it to YouTube. I have a TV, a KitchenAid, a dishwasher, but those are not necessary to daily living. Yeah, they make my life easier, but they're not necessary. So folks, please pick up a pencil and write a letter or a recipe. Write things down in a notebook, the paper kind, and save them. Buy and read a paperback, or better yet, collect your fa favorite authors in hardcover. Because if the power went out tomorrow, and for any significant length of time, you will be grateful to be able to open a book and find a recipe, <coughs> or driving directions, or a favorite story. Keep the deck, <coughs> pardon me, <clears throat> Keep the technology, but don't throw away your backup. Because as we all know, embracing technology is one thing. But replacing what technology was meant to enhance can be.
can be dangerous. In our race for a life filled with bigger, better, and faster and easier, we have allowed our world to become a place where a lot of our food is genetically modified and fed to the people without proper testing, long-term studies, or even labels. Food that is filled with toxins and chemicals we should not allow on our soil, let alone in our bodies. Where governments are controlled by the corporations that fund them. And where the people, no matter how they vote, protest, or have right on their side, no longer are heard. And if they are, they're ignored. Ignored by the very people they have put in power to represent them. Where corporations are allowed to poison the ground, the water, the air, and our bodies just so long as their tax breaks are in place and bank accounts are plump at the end of each day. So what do I wish for 2014? I wish that we all see. See past the newest, biggest, brightest technology and not forget the lowly pencil and paper. That we see those in power do not have our best interests or that of our children, our planet, or even our future at heart. That we realize that 90% of the planet's population is made up of us. People like you and me. And those in power only wield that power because we allow it. That we demand our God-given rights as human beings and stand up for them. Fight for them. Question authority. Listen to your instincts, your body, your heart, and not what they're selling. Remember, pharmaceutical companies aren't creating cures. They're creating customers. Genetically modified food was created to allow chemical companies to poison the soil, water, and air in the name of profit and not protection of the hungry. And if nothing else, remember this. If we buy something and it does not deliver on what the company promised, we take it back. We demand our money back, or at least that they fix it and deliver on their promises. If we were to deliberately lie to our employers or produce bad workmanship or service, we would be fired. Why should we not expect those in power to toe that same line? This is the Mrs. Volfi from Our Half Acre Homestead saying, people will only treat you the way you let them. Let's make 2014 the year we change the world. One choice at a time. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.